It's time, Kevin. Let's get it. How do I want the relationships with that one second time? And I pass it to my guys. In the night. Yeah. What? In the night. She won't go out, she won't party, live a lie. I'm with my guys, we getting fed and extra fried. Little drip with the shit, that's what she like. I'm with my niggas, she got girls and they won't slide. In the night, in the night, in the night. Anything can happen through the night. Sleeping with my crown, trapping, nigga, bye. I don't want no second time I just want a one night you and then I pass you to my sign I can't put no ring up on your finger, I'm not that type of guy In the night, you don't need no lie cause I got all the eyes Look at lies He's cutting weight at this time so he's just trying to break a sweat really All the work is done in the bag he Might work on a little technique here and there But like I said, he's just trying to keep everything nice and easy, flowy, you know So he could just be comfortable cutting weight and uh, get his rounds in The best you have ever cut with. But right now, yeah, it's this can. I lose like four pounds. Yeah. Camp is over. And camp was great. It was a great experience for me. Great learning experience. Going back home to my family, had a great time here, and it's time for Tev to go in there and do his thing. I definitely miss my family, my daughter, she's two, Adeline, and my lady, you know, um, but this is what I do for a living. They understand that, you know, this is what I got to do to get to the level Tev is at, you know what I'm saying? I got to come to these camps. I got to, when I come here, I got to put in the work and I got to learn. I got to learn from them because he's a world champion. A lot of time I feel like some fighters, when they get to a certain peak, certain level, the work out there ain't the same, but Tevin working look like he, he ain't a world champion. He's working like he's trying to be a world champion still, you know, he's hungry, he's motivated. He got a great group of guys around him, and boxing, a lot of people think it's a one-man sport because they only see one person in there fighting, but you need a great team around you, and he got that around him, and he got everybody in order, and he knows what everybody has to do, and he doing a good job being a commander of his team. I'm thankful that I was able to be a part of this, you know what I'm saying? It was real good for me. And I just can't wait to go home to my family now and just be home with my girls. That's what I'm looking up to now. That's what I'm looking forward to now. Camp is done. Benito. I'm flying over to England for my own press conference. I'm fighting Scott Quigg on March the 7th. So keep an eye out. It's going to be on the zone as well. It's been a blinder of a camp. I've really appreciated my stay here, the fact that Tevin invited me over. The amazing work that we put in the gym with himself, his team, the whole lot. It's been a, it's been a real pleasure. I've enjoyed myself. I've gained a lot being here, you know. I've, I've sat down, I've watched my own fight with Tevin. Me and Tevin sitting together watching our own fight. It was like playing some Rocky and Apollo Creed shit, you know what I mean? It was, it was great, but there was a lot of stuff that he was telling me that I was doing good and the stuff that I was doing bad that he was able to capitalize on. So all the, the likes of that gained a lot of knowledge being here. That I can add to my own game, it's definitely gonna make me a better boxer, 100%. I most definitely think Tevin's gonna win. Uh, we spied 14 rounds with Tevin one day, and he was on point <laughs> for every single round. He didn't fade out, he didn't get tired. I just hope he does his weight well. I hope he sticks to the game plan. I hope he does what I know he can do best. Jojo Diaz can box, he can fight as well. And what I've been told is he can bang. I've never experienced it because I've obviously, I've never sparred him or anything else. I've only shared the ring with Tevin, but I know Tevin can box on the inside and on the outside, so I'm really looking forward to the fight. It's going to be a fantastic fight, going to be an entertaining fight for sure. No days off. Scott Craig, you better be ready, boy. I'm going to fuck you up. Yeah, 
No days off, partner. We're in Miami, baby. Welcome to Miami. Miami is going to be a party. Five weeks. No. Get them punches flowing, man. Get ready for war. Weight loss, that's all this week about. Weight loss, staying sharp, man. Thursday is go time. Ringside, my nigga. Tevin Farmer, he's a hell of a fighter. I mean, I honestly think he's the best champion at 130 pounds right now. That's why I chose the fight. I'm not the type of fighter that is a pussy that wants to take an easy way out and wants to win a title the easy way. I want to earn it the hard way. That's the way I'm built. He's a very slick, a very elusive fighter, and I respect him. I respect everything that he's been through. I respect his journey, and I respect his career. I mean, he's suffered a couple of losses in his career, but he was able to bounce back and be motivated and be focused and determined on becoming a champion, which he is now. And I respect him. My hat's off to him. But uh, come Thursday night, there's no respect inside that ring, and I know that he's not going to respect me inside that ring either. It's, it's, it's personal, and it's a business at the end of the day for both of us. And uh, let the best man win Thursday night. All right, don't move right. So basically, when we first got here, it was freezing in here. I turned the heat up to 80, but then she just came in and turned it back down. So we had to ask her to turn it back up because I want him to get a really good sweat in. So I got her away. I like doing it in between, like, like I do like standard workouts, and then in between I'll do something dynamic like that. All right, another two back, another two pounds to lose right now. What are you ready to get move right now? Right now, I think you're gonna start moving this a little bit. You should touch the day that fit five. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'll see what I'm taking out your leg. Okay, okay, okay. Show, I'll see what I'm taking out your leg. Yo, that should be funny as shit, yo. We don't know. We just keep looking at this fight so long, like it's funny. It's like a <laughs> and my career in boxing has been 16 years. I started when I was 11 years old. Started because I was bullied and picked on when I was a little kid. My father took me to the gym to learn self defense. And ever since I learned self-defense and was able to defend myself, I just fell in love with the sport. The one-on-one -on -one action fight where it's just me and another person inside that ring. We don't got to worry about anybody else but ourselves. And just beating up people, man, and making sure that I was able to protect myself. That's what really made me fall in love with the sport. Started competing amateurly, started winning national tournaments, ended up becoming a 2012 Olympian at the age of uh, 17 going on 18 and started my professional journey when I was 18 years old. I have 30 fights with one loss. Only loss was against world title holder Gary Russell Jr. And other than that, yeah, it's just been all uphill from there, man. All the hard work, all the sacrifice, all the hours put inside the gym, ever since I was a little kid, ever since I was 11 years old, it's all like paying off, man. It's all paying off and I'm just excited and ready for this moment and ready for this world title fight. Yeah. Why is it that you don't come up here without a song suit? Bro, listen. What kind of deduction is that? This motherfucker's punchline. Damn, I'm about to come. No, I mean, y'all show me that bag. Did you pull that bag? Y'all are slacking, man. The duck is about to really be in effect. I bought your extra large. Hey, man. Bring it. It's just when I'm making weight, it's just, like, I don't want to wait around because everything is on schedule for me. Like I drink and eat at a certain time, now I'm drinking extra water because I'm sitting around waiting for my mouth getting dried up.
Another day. So you can shoot. Let's go. Back at it again. Woo! That's sweat. Do it again. Oh! oh Still more to go. Back at it again. Oh, wait. Clean up after ourselves. Clean, clean up. <laughs> Clean up after ourselves. Jeez, that's a lot of work. and Canelo fight and these two came together face to face we promised we'd make this fight we've got it again thank you to Golden Boy for stepping up and making this fight thank you to Jojo Diaz his manager and team as well for making this fight and Tevin Farmer who you know I've known him for a long long time when you think about success stories and you can even call it a comeback story you know this guy lost many fights on the way through he never never quit he kept going he improved and now I believe he is a great example to young fighters about work ethic, about always believing in himself. And uh, he now stands as the most active world champion in boxing today as the IBF Super Featherweight World Champion. But on Thursday night, he has by far the biggest test of his career so far. One of the top amateurs of the code previously, now former world title challenger, an excellent fighter who has had a great camp, ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the challenger for the IBF Super Featherweight World Championship, Jojo Diaz. What's going on everyone? First off, I want to thank Eddie Hearn. I want to thank Joe DeZone, my manager, Ralph Heredia, Golden Boy Promotions, uh, my father, all my team, Joel, Daryl Hudson, for getting me ready for this fight. It's the toughest fight to date. I know that, uh, it's a big fight. It's a big fight for myself and it's a big fight for just my journey and my career. I've been through a lot of ups and downs in my career. Been through a lot uh, these past few years and that made me the person that I am today and the fighter that I am today, both physically and mentally. And I'm mentally prepared for Tevin Farmer. I know that Tevin Farmer is a hell of a fighter. I know that he's a very slick defensive fighter. But um, come Thursday night, I'm ready to dethrone him. 
I know that uh, he's already made his fourth defense. This is his fifth defense, and there's a lot to lose. There's a lot at stake for both of us. I mean, it's sink or swim for me, and it's a lot to lose for him as well because he has a lot on the line. He's been talking a lot of shit. I've been talking a lot of shit. So we're both going to be backing it up. We're both going to be duking it out. So I'm really excited for this fight, man. I'm excited that we both finally agreed to all the terms and that this fight is actually being made on such a big weekend, Super Bowl weekend, fight week. Uh, and it's such a big card. It's just history in the making, and I'm just happy to be alive and to be a part of it. Uh, Tevin Farmer, I hope you're sleeping with that belt, man, because two more days, that shit's going to be mine. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Jojo. Um, before we hear from Tevin, I'm going to call up his co-promoter, uh, Lou Bella, to say a few words. It's been a pleasure working with Lou. I'll speak to Lou probably two or three times a day and that's along with the eight or nine missed calls I also get uh, from Lou to moan at me about something else but he's very passionate at what he does, he works hard for his fighters, um, coming up to the Hall of Fame as well, been in the sport of boxing a long long time and uh, he's ready to go with his charge on set on Thursday ladies and gentlemen, Lou DiBella. Thank you Ed, um, there's a tremendous amount of boxing talent to my left and to my right, and there's also Joe Markowski. Um, no, th this is an unbelievable card, and, and, and Joe and DeZone should be proud of putting it together. It's got something for everybody. There was a press conference right before this <laughs> with the YouTube dudes, and there's a lot of people I know that want to see that. Um, it's getting a lot of heat. There's talent from the second, the first bell rings, and the first match of the night going through, um, and there are tremendous fights, and I think the best fight of the night could very well be. Uh, Joe, Joe, and, and Tevin. Um, I got tremendous respect for this kid. He can fight his rear end off. He never gives less than 110%. He comes forward, he makes a fight. He asked for this fight, he made it happen. Um, you know, Tevin's not one to walk away from a challenge. And Tevin got on an airplane to get in this kid's face. And, um, and that's frankly because Tevin knew something. He needed uh, a big fight. He needed a guy to fight that was going to make some noise, that was going to get the attention of the boxing industry and give him the credit he deserves for the great fighter I think he is, and he knows he is. Um, and this kid's going to bring it, and it's going to be a war. And that's what it's all about. Let's have some fun. Uh, look forward to Thursday night, Miami Fight Night. Thank you all. And the IBF champion of the world at 130 pounds, Tevin Farmer. I ain't got much to say today. You know, every time I come out to speak, I have a lot to say. Today I keep it real simple. Um, first I'm gonna start, by, start off by saying, I'm gonna be Jojo ass, flat out. Um, I felt like I'm at another level. But I wanna thank Eddie Hearn, Lou DiBella, Matchroom, and The Zone for giving me the opportunity to um, be active and um, be on this big card. This is such a big card. There's a lot of talent on this card. Um, when I first heard about this card, and the people that was on the card, I'm like, wow. It's amazing to fight with these guys. I know these guys are probably saying the same thing about me. It's amazing to be on here with me, but it's amazing to be on here with them. Um, I feel amazing. I don't feel drained. I don't feel sucked in. I don't feel dried out. Um, as I can see, I still got my water. Um, a day before the weigh-in, uh, my weight is on point. I'm already on weight. And Miami weekend, it's going to be crazy. I hope Jojo ready because I'm ready. I've been ready. And when he got up here, I feel like he should have thanked me too because I'm the one who gave the opportunity um, to fight, you know. I could have fought somebody else, but I wanted to fight him. He a hell of a fighter. And um, I think he's going to bring it. I hope he will. But honestly, I'm tired of sweeping people out. I'm tired of killing everybody every round. I'm looking for a challenge. And I'm hoping to be him. I hope we get fighter tonight. But I don't think so. I think it's going to be a clean sweep. Thank you. Tevin and Jojo is going to be a great fight IBF Super Featherweight Championship of the world. I don't envision myself losing. There's no way in hell I'm going to lose against Tevin Farmer. Like I said, I respect him, but at the end of the day, I'm built different and I'm ready for any challenge he's going to bring. Uh, I'm, I'm very focused, I'm very determined, and I'm going to leave it all out there. He's going to, he's going to have to, you know, be raw prepared for me because I'm coming with everything come Thursday night. Winning the IBF World Championship is going to mean everything to me. It's going to mean that all the hard work that I put in since I was 11 years old, all the countless hours, all the sacrifice, all the discipline, all the, you know, not going to school dances, missing out on, on, on partying, 
hanging out with all my friends, being in the gym, working out, sweating, blood, sacrificing, tears, all that shit's gonna be paid off. So not only that, it's just gonna be happy that I'm able to prove that to myself, but also make my family happy, make my manager happy, make everybody around me happy, and, and truly to showcase to everybody that dreams do come true. As long as you constantly just put your mind to it, anything can happen. As long as you believe, if you believe in yourself, nothing can stop you. First you gotta believe, then you gotta work hard, and you're gonna see success come your way. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Tell me why I said yeah. to you, Sally. By the time he goes to bed today, he'll never be more. By the time we go to tomorrow, it'll be that 132. Oh, yeah. Everyone go serious? Yep. Well, Chino got a little sore neck, which generally happens when you dry out. You start feeling everything. So I'm just working a little kinks out. With the infrared light. My thumbs are bruised. <laughs> My <laughs> thumbs look like, ah. Call the call for backup. I had to call for backup. Because I was trying to work the kinks out. Friction. I know. I, I did like that. Now they hurt. And then so I, I have nails. Oh, okay. It's getting They're long. Nails. So I can't really dig in there. So, so that means I can't dig in there like I usually could. So that means I have to put more pressure on my thumbs. And now my shit like this. Arthritis. Arthritis. So I had to, I had to call the backup, the, the muscle, <laughs> to come save the day. Yep. Oh, they have mm -hmm. different ones. What are you travel? Travel sick right there. You going to Arabic? They're getting the full service now. That's love right there. Okay. This one? Yeah. Oh. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Oh, Hold too far, too far. <laughs> you trying to get oh. to the brain? I, can't, I gotta do <laughs> You're tickling the brain right now. There we go. I can feel it that it feels better now. <laughs> that was like, the way I was in there at first was awkward as fuck. Yeah. I'm trying to compensate everything else with the air. There we go. No wax. Squeaky no clean. wax. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do, just by folding your arm behind your back, stretch your trap out, and hopefully that helps stretch your neck out. Should be good now. Right. I think I think once you once you rehydrate, you feel awesome. Yeah, for sure. Right now, you're gonna feel all them little kinks and every little thing. Every little thing. So almost there. championship contest 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the IBF junior lightweight championship of the world it's all brought to you courtesy of mr. Eddie Hearn of matchroom boxing USA DeBella entertainment that's with blue DeBella and Oscar de la Hoya's golden boy promotions introducing up first to the stage the challenger this 2012 Olympian has a professional record 30 victories only one defeat 15 wins coming by way of knockout. He's the former WBA gold, WBC and NABF, and WBO and NABO featherweight champion Thursday night. He'll be appearing in his third world title attempt. Please welcome, representing South El Monte, California, Joseph Jojo Diaz Jr. Diaz Jr. And now, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the stage, the defending champion, he'll be with his head trainer, Raul Chino Rivas. 
His professional record, 30 victories, 4 defeats, 1 draw, 1 no contest, 6 wins coming by way of knockout. He fights out of and represents the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Thursday night, he'll be making his fifth defense of his world title. Here is the reigning and defending IBF junior lightweight champion of the world, Tevin, the American Idol, Farmer. Farmer. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger, Jojo Diaz, Jr. 129.8, 129.8 for the challenger, Joseph Jojo Diaz Jr. And now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, the defending world champion, Tevin, American Idol Farmer. 130 pounds, the super featherweight limit, 130 pounds, bang on for Tevin Farmer. Meridian at Islands Garden, Thursday night, Miami Beach, Florida, Super Bowl weekend, Matchroom Boxing, DAZN, Sky. on the line, Jojo Diaz, Tevin Farmer. Matchroom Boxing, Jabella Entertainment, Golden Boy Promotions. Ready? Let's go. Jojo is one of the top dogs between 126 and 130. He definitely has a big name, you know. And this is a guy right here that after I beat will take my career to another level. It's going to be an exciting fight. Make sure you guys tune in and you guys are going to see a new champion, baby. Joseph Jojo Diaz Jr. I'm going to be honest. I'm tired of going there against dominating these dudes. It's really no test. No challenge. I'm looking forward to him bringing the best he got. I'm, I honestly am. I hurt a lot of my opponents and I ease them off the gas. I ain't even off the gas this time. This tuna. That's my last message. I'm hyped. Okay. Ready. Right. Tell me, do you know the feeling? Tell me, do you know the feeling? When you look up and you ain't got no ceiling. When you look down, you see them diamonds drip. Tell me, do you know the feeling? Tell me, do you know the feeling? 